I'm jumping. I must have jumped at the perfect moment. Alright, is the server ticked? Because I should have had one health there. Am I going the wrong way? Kind of. going next. I should probably attune before I forget it. This is massive. person doesn't know what their job is. Is it alright to call them a person? Bunny, bunny people? Small? I don't know. To your leader. Era babies, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> 
So it said go back to the entrance and then, okay. So god awful at remembering to put that back up. Probably could just leave it during cutscenes, but. Turn that back on. My name is Livingway, and we are the Lotheritz, created for the express purpose of commanding this ship and bearing the people of Atheris to a brave new world. More specifically, I am the one whom she charged with the execution of her most vital plans. You might say I'm her right paw. <laughs> Nothing weighs the name, map breather and navigator of the heavens. Pleasure to meet you all, but I'm still trying to make sense of this. <laughs> Confusion and bewilderment are completely understandable. Fear not, I shall walk you through it. The people Thanks. of Atheris, through no fault of your own, I'm sure, set in motion a series of events that, unfortunately, culminated in Zodiac's obliteration. That wasn't me. Acutely aware of the imminent that. crisis, your parents sent to you little ones on ahead while they began the necessary preparations. What? Still not following? No. Oh. Very well. I shall elaborate further. Thank you. Here we have Atheris, your home, and the moon where we are now. Without Zodiac around to keep things lively, so to speak, the celestial currents of the star have doubtless begun to degrade. A calamity of apocalyptic proportions will be visited upon Atheris, bringing an end to all life. Very sad, that. Uh. So too hath the Watcher claimed. By thine unperturbed countenance, I gather this eventuality was anticipated. The doom and gloom. Oh, yes, quite expected. Imagine, if you will, that Atheris is a delicious carrot that I've forgotten to eat and left out in the midday sun. Tragic. The not most the carrot. earnest wishes or prayers will not stop it from rotting to the core. So sadly, there's nothing to be done but to abandon said carrot, Atheris, in case the metaphor is lost on you, to its grisly fate. And this moon will serve as the vessel to deliver us to a new home. Just so! We will gather up as many people, supplies, and resources as our stores will hold. Wait, we're gonna save Eorzea, right? And then, once everyone is aboard, it's off to another star! Or, what, what did they call the... Easier said than done, admittedly. For one does not simply hop from star to star on a whim. Which is precisely why we've spent countless years constructing the most propulsive of propulsion systems! We ought to make it to our destination in two shakes of a rabbit's tail.
Impressive technology. I dare say it is beyond anything we have ever seen. No need to shower us with praise. All we've done is faithfully carry out the instructions left to us by Hydaelyn. Back in the old days, when she was still just Venar, she was dedicated to the study of the world and its inner workings. Who? And the Watcher, the real one, not the simulacrum you met, was one of her fellow researchers. We what? and this wondrous vessel, masquerading as a moon, are products of their knowledge and know-how. There's certainly more to you all than meets the eye. Might I ask where exactly you intend to take us? We identified a few promising candidates for resettlement some time ago, but we cannot guarantee that they are fit for habitation. Moreover, the ship can only travel in short bursts. We intend to go down our list, hopping from star to star, until we find one suitable for resettlement. No need to worry, though. The vessel is being refurbished with accommodation for an extended stay as we speak. While we did have to rely upon outside help to determine what amenities were essential, I dare say we have risen to the challenge. Wait, I just thought about this. From who? If the, <laughs> the, we just talked about the source being destroyed, how are we going to get all of those people? Each time we to perform regularly scheduled maintenance, we were greeted by the resources you uh. sent us. What better way to learn about preferences and proclivities of our present-day charges? Ah, oh, but you're still adorable little children. Perhaps your elders were responsible for the deliveries. I'm not sure what led you to conclude otherwise, but I can assure you that we are all grown men and women. And I very much doubt my elders know this place exists, much less how to send you so much as a starlight missive. Uh, Hydaelyn? Hydaelyn herself led you here. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't say! Well, that's really not children. Then why are you so small and stunted? Like little baby carrot people. Excuse me? Well, Amorotines were a great deal taller. In well, the present I, yes, day, persons true. of such prodigious size are exceedingly rare. Not like the Watcher. Oh, confound it all! Someone could have at least scribbled a note about your profound miniaturization. That tome in thy possession. Oh, this? One of the first books sent to us. A compendium of the people of Atheris with a few blank pages at the back for minor corrections and updates as needed. The sum total of our knowledge of your kind is contained in these pages. I thought it was abridged and made small for our benefit, but this isn't a regular sized book, is it? Tell us a bit more about your terrestrial collaborations. Yes, yes, in due time. But first, I'd like to hear more about you, if it's all the same. I'd rather not risk any other complications due to outdated knowledge of our passengers-to-be. 